Okay, I've been building this Ben Buckle rather quirky design. It's the Elf biplane. Now, I've made a lot of progress. The wings, which are rather nice. Of course, it's a biplane, but notice the difference in the size between the upper wing and the lower wing. Um, the tail surfaces have been completed. And now I've come to a sticking point. The design calls for a four stroke 40 inverted to fit in here. However, I, I don't have a four stroke 40 at the moment available. So I'm contemplating going with an electric motor. A fellow modeler said that's sacrilege on a vintage plane, <laughs> but if needs must, what do I do? I'm thinking about locating it with a standoff in this area with the speed controller attached underneath. This front cowl area would be removable. And then the battery, I'm not even sure whether a 2200 would be big enough in terms of the CG, would mount through the front and then that would probably be relocated with magnets. Um, this was miles out in terms of the pre-cut piece but it's not a big deal. Most of the model is actually stick and glue job. Um, it's a really quite odd design the way it's meant to be put together. I've always built bulkheads onto fuselage um, in this in this sort of plan view. But the suggestion is that you build the rear half, which I've done, and then build a sub-assembly with the two plywood formers. Now this will make attaching the undercarriage much easier than if you tried to do it um, in the way I've suggested. And then this is attached to the pre-built sides. But the problem I have is, if I go for an electric installation, these bearers, engine bearers, won't be in position, perhaps cut off to join these two formers. And there's no way back from that. I can't change my mind, really, unless I use a nylon engine mount to place in here. I'm really rather torn. What do I do? The fun of modelling.